What's up, people? My name is Trent, aka Father Diff. Today, I want to talk to you guys about five mistakes that if you're doing, you're going to look like a rookie. You don't want to make these rookie mistakes, and I'm going to go ahead and jump into it because I want this to be real short and straight to the point. And number one, the most rookiest mistake that you can make is your lens cap. Take it off, man. Take it off. You don't ever want to be caught or getting ready to take a picture in front of a whole bunch of people and you put it up and it's black and you're like, why is it black? And then somebody, you hear somebody say, dude, your lens cap on. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. You, you, you don't want to be that guy. So that's the most rickiest mistake of all these. Number two. Now, you're going to want to make sure that you charge your batteries. You, you got to keep these charged because if they die while you're shooting for a paid gig and you don't have any other batteries, you're screwed. So just make sure you keep these little guys charged. Keep them charged. I mean, and if you don't have enough charge time for them, like maybe 30 minutes, I don't know, however you're using it, you want to have backup, so just 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 keep that in mind because you never know when it's gonna happen. You don't want to be caught with your pants down. All right. Now number three, your memory cards. Erase them, clean them up. If you're done with the shoot, delete these pictures off of it. If you already edited the pictures, delete them off of it because it makes no sense to keep all those pictures on that memory card and you get ready to shoot your next event. You still using that memory card and it gets full. So just be sure to. Erase that memory card whenever you get finished. All right? Okay. Rookie mistake. All right. Number four, make sure you have a checklist for your gear. And when I say that, I mean you need to know what lens you're going to use, whether or not you're going to need an ND filter, or your flash, your lights, um, external monitors, tripod. You need to know what things you're going to need, or maybe even a microphone, because if you're not prepared and you don't have that checklist, you don't ever want to walk out the house missing something. You get 20 minutes down the road or worse, 40, and you think to yourself, I feel like I'm missing something. And you're like, nah, I'm good. And you get to your destination, you get ready to take pictures, and all of a sudden you're like, I forgot. Such and such, such and such, such and such. So then you have to make the best of what you have. And of course, there's always ways around things, but don't do that. Do not do that. Don't be a rookie. Be a pro. Get your stuff together and just make a checklist because it's going to make your life so much easier. I promise. <laughs> All right. Number five, the last one. Don't be afraid to be uncomfortable. When I say that, I mean, don't be afraid to try new things within photography or video because if you're just doing this type of photography, you may not even know that you like this other type of photography that just takes you to a whole nother place like career wise financially wise just try new things you never want to be that person that got stuck in this age where he's only comfortable with doing this whereas if he would have branched off and tried something else he could have been or she could have been bigger than big you know don't ever limit yourself or short yourself to do those things you're gonna be uncomfortable is not always gonna be a comfortable position so just get out of that comfort zone and don't be afraid to try new things please all right now those are my five tips for the rookie you know you don't want to be a rookie so those are my five tips for not being a rookie and I have two more which are bonuses and number one is shoot raw I do a vlog you know detailing why you should shoot raw and how much more beneficial it is versus JPEG trust me it'll save your life trust me and the second bonus tip is be organized sometimes I have my stuff scattered all over the house whether it's this camera this lens cap this lens those lens sitting on the table and when I get ready to go to a shoot I have to spend 10 15 minutes trying to find where my stuff is at and if I would just be organized, I wouldn't have this problem. So stay organized, keep up with your stuff, keep it all together, and you're good to go. You won't have anything to worry about. When you need it, it's where it's at. Just run and grab it and go. So if you like those tips, please subscribe. Um, and if you feel like I left out a rookie, rookie mistake um, be sure to comment below what you think a rookie mistake is or a rookie mistake that you make that you want to fix and work on so just you know just talk I don't know I'm getting awkward right now but I really appreciate you guys for watching um, 
Again, be sure to comment, share, like, subscribe. And until next time, I am out. Yeah, I'm still doing this thing. I'm, I'm going to continue to do this thing.